my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 27th of January, 2019. <clears throat> Article posted on CNN, written by Madeline Holcomb, H-O-L-C-O-M-B-E. Man who killed five in Louisiana was dating one of the victims, police say. A man wanted in the killing of five people in Louisiana was dating one of the victims and briefly lived with her family before the shooting rampage that also left her father and brother dead, authorities said. In addition to his girlfriend and her relatives, Dakota Thero, 21, allegedly killed his parents in a separate but related shooting Saturday in Gonzales, police said. Elizabeth and Keith Theroy, both 50, were at the home near Baton Rouge when the suspect killed him, Ascension Parish Sheriff Bobby Weber said. When authorities arrived at the scene, Keith Theroy was still alive and told them his son shot them, authorities said. A manhunt is underway for the suspect, who is considered armed. His girlfriend, Summer Ernst, and her relatives were found dead in a home 30 miles away. The dead included her father, Billy Ernst, 43, and her brother, Tanner Ernst, 17, according to authorities. Theroy was dating Summer and had lived with the Ernst for several weeks, Livingston Parish Sheriff Jason Art said. He was recently asked to leave the residence and not return, according to the authorities. A seven-year-old and a one-year-old were found in the home, but were unharmed and are now with their mother. Can you imagine what the mother is going through? having lost her husband and her other two children. Authorities believe the shooting stemmed from a boyfriend-girlfriend type of dispute, CNN affiliate WAFB reported. This is probably one of the worst domestic violence incidents I've seen in quite a while, Weber said. For a young man to walk into a bedroom and kill his mother and his father, and then kill friends in Livingston that he had connections with. The suspect has been charged with two counts of first-degree murder, illegal use of weapons, and home invasion. Now here's what I find really interesting. There were no red flags ahead of the two shootings Saturday morning, other than a simple possession of drug paraphernalia charge. Thero had no other run-ins with the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office, he said. All right, so other than a simple possession of drug paraphernalia, I wonder what kind of drug paraphernalia, huh? Hash pipes, crack pipes, huh? I think we have to sort of delve into that. What he did, would you agree, is not normal? And would you agree that when people take certain kinds of drugs, well, they become less than normal, don't they? On the run, Thruitt was last seen driving a gray and silver 2004 Dodge pickup truck with the Louisiana license plate C583809 that belongs to the Ernst family, authorities said. He had on a blue sweatshirt, blue jeans, and white tennis shoes and is believed to be traveling east in the Dodge pickup, Ard and Weber said. He has two tattoos across on his chest and a yin-yang symbol on his forearm. Authorities believe he is armed with at least one handgun. We will use all of our resources, all the resources that we have available to us to bring this murder to justice, Weber said. We don't know what kind of resources he has or how far he can run, but we don't think he has great means and a lot of resources. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 225-344-7867. Totally insane. Nothing but a little bit of drug paraphernalia, huh? <laughs> well, I'll attach the link. You look at it. You might want to repost this on your social media accounts, pass it along to your like-minded friends. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached.